to another tutorial with me, Anna, from PDF Element. I'm so happy you could join me for this video. Did you know that with PDF Element, you can create, edit, and convert PDF documents on Windows, Mac, and iOS devices? PDF Element is specifically designed to optimize your workflow, which is why digitizing documents is your first step towards efficiency with PDF Element. In this tutorial video, I will be sharing some valuable information on how you can convert your scanned PDF to Microsoft Word format on Windows using PDF Element and its optical character recognition module. You can convert a scanned document into an editable and searchable PDF document and then convert it to Word for further editing. Start by clicking the Open button on the Welcome screen and import a scanned or image-based PDF. You will receive a pop-up notification at the top of your window. PDF Element has detected that the document is a scanned PDF and recommends that you perform OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, which enables you to copy, edit, and search text from scanned documents. As you can see, the Edit button cannot be applied to this document. OCR can be performed immediately by clicking the Perform OCR button. Alternatively, it can be run during the conversion process, which is the option I will choose for the tutorial. I'll ignore the notification for now and click the Two Word icon on the Home tab. The notification in the pop-up window indicates that OCR should be performed on this document if I want the converted file to be editable. So, I'll click the Enable OCR checkbox. Note that OCR may cause changes to the text and layout of the document. By default, the Word, or .docx format, is selected as the chosen output format, but I can change this to any available document format in the drop-down menu. Simply click Convert to complete the process. I now have a fully editable Word version of my scanned PDF document. There you go! Your document has been converted to Microsoft Word format and it's ready to be edited. If you liked my video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Share your thoughts on this video in the comments below and let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see.